on every issue from public health to the 2020 election to the fake outcry over critical race theory. The GQP has weaponized disinformation when the facts aren't on their side. And in doing so, they're putting our democracy and our very lives at risk. Yesterday, House Minority Leader and Trump steward Kevin McCarthy proposed five Republicans to serve on the select committee investigating the Capitol insurrection, a majority of whom sided with the insurrectionists on January 6th by voting to overturn the election results, just as the mob demanded. That includes Congressman Jim Jordan, the screamy Trump advocate and defender of the big lie. While it's unclear whether Nancy Pelosi will veto any of McCarthy's choices, Jordan's history of grandstanding certainly makes him a good candidate for rejection. But the bigger problem is that Jordan helped inspire the very attack he's now supposed to investigate. A new book by Carol Lenning and Phil Rucker reports that when Jordan offered help to Congresswoman Liz Cheney during the attack on January 6th, Cheney smacked his hand away and told him, get away from me, you blanking did this. To that point, McCarthy's selections make clear that Republicans will attempt to obscure their own culpability in the insurrection, as well as Trump's. In fact, their proposed ranking member, Congressman Jim Banks of Indiana, is already undermining the committee's work. He'd rather forget who unleashed the mob against the Capitol because, according to Banks, Nancy Pelosi is really the one to blame. Today, he suggested that she left the Capitol unprepared and vulnerable to attack. And he added that Pelosi, quote, created this committee solely to malign conservatives. But Republicans are also selling a bill of goods when it comes to COVID, fueling baseless conspiracy theories and vaccine skepticism. So it's no surprise that we're seeing more COVID cases among Fox News viewers who've watched their hosts downplay the pandemic day after day. In fact, according to CNN, the White House has reportedly been in private talks with Fox executives about their coverage. That might help explain why several hosts on that network are turning tail. They're suddenly urging their viewers to take COVID seriously. But while Sean Hannity and Steve Ducey have changed their tune, Tucker Carlson and Laura Ingraham continue to sow doubts. The problem is there are real life consequences for those who might heed the GQP message. There's the unfortunate example of unvaccinated Trump supporter and QAnon believer Linda Zorn, who was protesting her state's vaccination program just a week ago, according to the Cape Cod Times. Well, she died from COVID complications on Friday. Joining me now is former Senator Claire McCaskill of Missouri and Charlie Sykes, editor at large for The Bulwark and an MSNBC columnist. Thank you both for being here. Claire, I'm gonna start with you. Uh, so Speaker Pelosi has a, has a choice now here of accepting Jim Jordan and, and, and you know Congressman Banks and all of these other insurrectionists on the commission um, or saying absolutely no. Um, what, what do you think she ought to do? Well, before I tell you what she ought to do, I have to say happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday to you. Um, you have done an amazing job, my friend. We are all lucky to be able to work alongside you. Myself, oh. time to time, not as often as I would like, but certainly um, very proud of you and what you've done over the last Thank year. You. And like Rachel said, looking forward to many more years. I, I get, so you know I'm going to now push for a cake. I hear you're I know, just amazing I feel maker. So badly. <laughs> I was traveling today of all days not to have a cake for you. When we get together, I'll make it up to you. When we're together in yes. person, we're, we're going to yes. have a we'll, we'll bake. We'll do like a bake off. It'll be fun. Cake, <laughs> cake and wine. Yes. Always a deadly combination. Yes. I'm in um, so, so I got to tell you, I think Nancy Pelosi have a, has a tough decision. Yeah. She has six Republicans. Three of them did not vote to overturn the people's will, and three of them did. The ones, other than Jim Jordan, nobody in America knows who these people are, other than Liz Cheney and Jim Jordan. So does she want to set up a Liz Cheney versus Jim Jordan? I like Liz Cheney in that fight. I think most independent voters, most voters that decide swing districts and swing states are going to come down on Liz Cheney's side, not on Jim Jordan's side. So um, and always, if she turns them down, who knows, she could get, you know, three Looney Tunes next <laughs> yeah. that everybody has heard of that are really incentivized to be crazy because that's the only way they make money in their campaigns. You know, the QAnon lady and crazy Bab Bobert or Babbert or whatever her name is, you know, so I think in some ways um, they, they can work with with these people, especially considering we've got three 
to three in terms of Republicans who bought the big lie and protected the big lie and those who rejected the big lie. That is a really good point. That is a, that's why we love you, Claire. That is a great point. Let me play for, for, for those of you who forget who Jim Jordan is. You might want to turn the volume down just a skosh on your TVs before I play this. Here he is. And I want to know why you won't give us what we've asked for. Sir, I certainly hope that the, your colleagues are not under that impression. That is not accurate, sir. And it is accurate. We have caught you hiding Mr. Chairman, can we Mr. allow the Rosenstein. witness to answer? So the protests don't increase the spread of the virus? I didn't say that. You're putting words in my mouth. No, I, I, want, I, would, I just want an answer to the question. May I answer that question? Yeah, I'll get to you. I'll, I'll give you a chance here in a Thank second. You. Who told Papadopoulos? How'd he find out? I can't get into the evidentiary file. Yes, you can, because you wrote about it. In a way, has Kevin played himself, Charlie, by picking the screaming Mimi here um, and having him seated against Liz Cheney. I mean, this is the guy that John Boehner has called a political terrorist. Um, is this a pretty good fight that Nancy Pelosi might be like, okay, good, I'll take it. Maybe. And by the way, um, happy anniversary. Okay. But if you count it in, in, in Trump years, it's sort of like seven year anniversary. <laughs> I think you need to, you know, recognize well, He was president for 430 like years, does. Charlie. 430 years he was there. Yeah. <laughs> It feels like that. Yeah. Look, um, I, I, I get the I get the the political um, optics of having Liz Cheney versus Jim Jordan. I mean, it is uh, that's not that is not a fair fight. On the other hand, I do think that voting to overturn the election should be disqualified. Yeah. That 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 uh, Nancy Pelosi would be completely justified in playing hardball and saying this is not a joke, this is not a farce, this is not going to be a, a circus sideshow. Um, that Kevin McCarthy wants it to be. This is going to be a serious investigation. And that means that if you supported the big lie, you cannot serve on this committee. I mean, I think that would be a principled position. I don't expect that's what's going to happen. But Jim Jordan, J Jim Jordan serves no positive um, role in all of this except to feed red meat to the base. And by the way, we get a new CBS poll out today showing that 55 percent of Trump voters believe the January 6th insurrection was really about, quote unquote, defending freedom. So um, if you were going to counter this, I think that the tactics have to be aggressive as opposed to this assumption that, well, people will see what a crazy talk there is and they'll recognize that these people are nuts and seditious and they don't want to vote for them. Well, we've tried that um, in the past and look where it's gotten us. So um, I, I do think that those members that voted to overturn the election without any evidence whatsoever should be disqualified from being on this committee.